brother GP. We are coming at you from Auto Club Speedway with Fast Track Riders doing a track day today. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, working with my buddy Mitsu, looking at some data, taking some footage. As you can see, I have this new gimbal and this tiny little selfie stick, so hopefully that'll make for some good footage. And uh, yeah, everyone's been asking for an intro to the racetrack, and here we go. This is what we got in the paddock. We're kind of spoiled at Auto Club Speedway because we have garages for free and power, but it's all good. All right, everyone. Let's uh, let's get going on this. I'll probably talk at the writers' meeting in a little bit. I gotta go to tech right now, get my registration done. Plenty to do this morning. Peace. and ready to go and I think I'm late for the writers meeting of course we're gonna thank writers lot for uh, helping us out for all this YouTube and podcast stuff and uh, writers Lot is actually uh, a sponsor of here at fast track so I'm gonna go plug them a little bit at the writers meeting and uh, spread the word about the good shit that they do All right, I know what you're actually here for. So let's show you a quick lap of Auto Club Speedway located in Fontana, California. Um, if you've never been down here, it is a roval, i.e. a road course inside an oval. Essentially, it's almost like a parking lot, um, but we get to use the banking. We got a really fast turn one, and uh, let's get moving here. Uh, my lap, I think this is my fastest lap of the day. It's a 133.1. We we're on used tires, so we were, we were moving pretty good. It's a pretty good practice time for me. Um, all right, coming down the front straightaway, we're in sixth gear, we cross the stripe right there. We're gonna hit these braking cones for turn one and we're gonna pop one downshift, flip that left curve, get back on the gas really hard right here, full throttle in fifth gear, hold it on the inside until we hit these bumps and then brake hard, pop three downshifts in a second from here for turn three, try and get close to the grass, try and get that right curve there, back hard on the gas to drive down this. The rear tire spins a little bit here, we pop two upshifts, get into fourth, and then we're gonna brake here for turn five, another two downshifts. Uh, I missed this inside curve a little bit here. It's a double apex corner, so you have a lot of choices. Come down this little straightaway, might click third, nope, didn't do it. Break, break a little bit for turn seven, try and go straight through there as much as possible. Roll on the gas as hard as you can here and then break for turn nine. Super light apex here to get a good drive down the straightaway. And we're actually gonna make it all the way back up in the fifth gear. We've shifted into fourth, a little short right there. Down the straightaway, kinda deal with the head shake. And then we're gonna break hard for turn 12, pop three down shifts back into second gear. And then we wanna carry as much roll speed through here because we can't get on the gas that hard. There's a little crest right there that uh, makes the tire spin a lot. We turn right, we got a left here, still in second gear, rolling the gas hard, short shift into third, and then push, push the front end through that corner and try and get as onto the gas as soon as possible for this really long drive down the front straightaway. So here we go, click into sixth, and that was a 133.1. So pretty good lap time, but all right, we looked at that, now let's go talk to Mitsu. Hi Mitsu, introduce yourself. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Mitsu Ueda. I've been racing with Ueda uh, sometimes and uh, I used to try to catch up with Robert, but he's now too fast and then I'm struggling. So, you know, today I got a coach from Robert. 
As you just heard, this is my buddy Mitsu. He's been racing here with Wera since 2015 on 600s, both on a CBR and now an R6. He's taken some private coaching back in 2016 and 2017, and it definitely helped a little bit, but at the moment he's kind of hit his own personal wall. Mitsu's kind of stuck right now. He did a 1 minute 35 lap time back in February of 2018 here at Auto Club Speedway, and while that's, that's a pretty solid lap time, he hasn't been able to repeat it. Um, he, he's been doing 36s and 37s and even a few 38s since then. So what that tells me is he's kind of lacking the tools that he needs to be able to go faster, safer, and, and be a competitive racer. So we're going to work with him today. We're going to follow him around at the racetrack, record some footage, look at some data, and try and get him the tools that he needs to go faster and be competitive as an expert club racer. All right, this is our 1 p.m. session, and I've been following Mitsu around for a little bit today. He, the first thing that I've noticed about his riding is that his braking seems to be holding him back. I honestly think that for his skill level and his speed, he's trying to brake too hard for any corner, especially these hard braking zones. So we're coming up to turn 12 right now. The first thing to notice is that I approach his rear tire right away. So I would feel like we braked about the same time, but my speed remains higher for considerably longer than his does. That suggests that I'm trailing off the brake and getting into the corner faster. Let's watch that one more time. The second thing to notice here is that even though my corner speed is higher, because I've held the brake on smoother and a little bit longer, I'm actually able to carry a better line through the corner. So my exit of what is actually turn 13 is tighter. Um, I've kind of delayed my roll on from what I normally would do just because Mitsu is right in front of me and I don't want to run into the back of him. Um, but, but that tight line could equal more throttle and a much faster lap time. So all in all, I've done less braking before the turn, carried more corner speed through the corner, and had a tighter exit which allows me to get on the throttle much sooner. So trying to brake really hard is great if you're a you know pro level racer but if you're trying to dramatically improve your lap times and your corner speed is suffering maybe try braking a little softer uh, there are a lot of instructors out there that say lighter longer for the brakes and mitsu definitely needs to work on this and he, he has been actually he's better now than he was in previous sessions All right, transitioning to our 4 p.m. session here, the last one of the day. Sorry about the lens here. The GoPro is going to take another hit by rock right there, completely destroying it. But all right, we're, uh, we're coming into turn one, and this is another spot where braking is not your friend. Roll speed is super important here, as is line choice. So if you can be comfortable on the brakes, you can do exactly what I did just there. Flip the left curb, flip the right curb, and pull up onto your competition coming into turn three is almost more of the same so a little bit of hard braking there and it's very very important to get a good exit out of three into four so that you can drive down this straightaway let's watch this one more time timing is also super important right here because if you flip to the right too late you've missed your exit and you aren't able to get a good drive out of this corner obviously the faster you go the faster you have to flip that bike over to make sure you get your exit and going knee to knee in between turn three and four is very difficult so keep working at it for sure breaking hard for turn five right here a double apex corner is your best friend for practicing hard braking because there are so many line choices uh we got a few more corners here so this is seven eight kind of more of the same really important to be able to get back on the gas here mitsu does a good job with the tight line on exit and then let's see how he does with his final drive yeah pretty solid there so he was really working on cleaning up his line out of nine um, and making sure that he took a super late apex and his drive really looked like it there. All right, let's see how we do braking one final time into turn 12. I'm braking super early and super long just to uh, work on my corner speed and unfortunately I pull right up onto Mitsu's tire once again and the sun is taken out our video there. But all right, I think that's all we're gonna look at for his uh, laps. It was uh, fun riding with him all day. So let's hear from him and see how he thinks the day went. Uh, what's the most important thing you learned today? Uh, to not to uh, to break like a little, not to break hard, so I can carry more speed into the corner, and uh, also not to panic. What uh, do you think that's going to be helpful for your racing? Uh, yes, very much. Uh, only even you know today, one day, uh, I improved a lot uh, with Robert's advice, and uh, uh, I did almost like my personal record. Uh, with practice, but uh, I need to be able to do what he told me to do more consistently to go more faster.
All right, awesome. All right, Mitsu, I'm glad you had a great day and uh, let's do this again. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching my first little foray into vlogging a track day experience and helping out my buddy Mitsu. The track day season in Southern California doesn't really cool down all that much. We just got some rain, but I suspect that the tracks will be dry here shortly and we're going to keep going. I know in February I'm riding with Dennis and I'm sure I'll have more content for you before then. Thanks for watching. Peace.